This is a small family portrait. And what makes it small is not necessarily that the family is small, but that I am painting this on an 8 by 10 canvas panel. And as always, I'm using acrylics. So while this is a small family portrait, I consider myself to be an artist that looks at the big picture. I'm not detail oriented and I think that accounts for why I can paint so fast. Of course this is uh, faster than in reality. I'm showing you about two days work in the span of eight minutes. But I'm still a pretty speedy painter and one of the reasons that I am is that I don't do a lot of pre-planning. I don't make a preliminary sketch. I am sketching using my paints. So I'm sketching right there on the canvas and as the image becomes clearer in my mind, uh, it becomes clearer on the canvas. And what I'm looking to happen is for the character and the soul of the people that I'm painting to pop out at me. When I see that something really looks like that person, that's when I tend to stop. Okay, so I, I'm looking to uncover the, the hidden truth behind the people I'm looking to see what makes them who they are, but I'm not painting every little pore, every little hair. Those are not the things that I'm interested in. And so you can ask, well, is this realistic painting or is this a caricature? It has some elements of caricature. The connotation of caricature, of course, is that you're mocking the character of the person that you're drawing, and I'm not doing that at all. I have great reverence for the character of each person that I paint. But if you look at the denotation of the word caricature, all it means is that it's a picture of a person's character, and I definitely I'm aiming for that. So my painting is realistic enough for you to recognize the person, but not so realistic as to see all sorts of extraneous details that have nothing whatsoever to do with that person's character. In terms of my use of colors, I sort of drag in colors from the background into the shades uh, and the shadows on a person's face. So you notice in this particular painting, since we had some trees um, in fall autumnal glory, with sort of an orangish red cast to them. I ended up using a lot of shadows that were not black per se, but um, reddish. And I, I just pulled those things in together. I'm not a person who thinks about color a great deal. I use color just as I use shape to try to express the the overall feel of the image. But I wouldn't call myself a colorist. In fact, I might be an anti-colorist in the sense that my, my shapes and my colors come together at the same time. Uh, the word colorist, of course, have, has many different meanings in English. Um, from someone who expresses himself using color, and you might say that I do that, but in the uh, 
comic book world, a colorist used to be the person who came in and colored in the images after the first artist and drew out the shapes. I'm definitely not that. I don't draw out the shapes separately from the colors. The colors help me make the shapes and the shapes um, are composed of the colors. I do try to figure out the bone structure on a person's face by building up the highlights and uh, the shadows in such a way that the, you know, the facial structure comes out at you. And I guess in a way you might think that's a very superficial way to get at character, but I, I think that we really do get the characteristics of the person by following their, um, their cranial shape, so to speak. Anyway, I do enjoy uh, doing that. I enjoy building up the shapes um, using the, um, the method of constantly adding shadow and adding highlights until I get something that kind of looks like what I want to get. And then I say, good enough and I call it a day. <laughs> I like how happy this family is. I like their smiling faces. And I, I think that the feeling that you get when you look at them is one of happiness and contentment without any need for perfectionism. I, I like that. So when I'm finishing off, uh, what I do is I try to see, okay, are there errors in proportion and is there something that I can do to fix that? Um, rather than requiring myself to get all the proportions correctly at the very beginning, I can keep as much of what I've done as I want and take away some imperfections that to me are too glaring and then I'm happy with it, just as the people in the portrait are happy, I'm happy too. And as I start to get toward the end of my painting process, I use my phone to see whether it can recognize the people. Now, if it can't recognize one of the people, then I know I need to work on it some more. Smile. You're on camera. And then I sign it. Don't forget to subscribe.